<sighs> had to readjust. Like I said, y'all bear with me. It's a blizzard out here. It's like 12 degrees and shit. It's snowing all kind of ways, but we gonna make it. We gotta go back through this war between um, Paper Route Entertainment and CMG that allegedly stems from a fucking record deal. Some years ago, Dolph declined the record deal from CMG. And ever since then, they've been mortal enemies. There's been shootouts. There's been murders. Black youngster was a lot of fucking gunplay and shit, man. A lot of bodies have dropped between these two factions. And um, I was always under the impression that if you, you know, want to kill the body, you hit the head. They hit the head of a paper route, and this shit is up. Them niggas is riding. I don't know. Um, I don't see no end, end to this one in sight. No, no time soon and shit, especially the way that they're going right now. He said it's over. God, he's being, oh, say this ain't got nothing to do with no pussy. Say this ain't got nothing to do with no pussy. He said, it's social media and WAC 100 hyping up the beef even more. He said, they caught the nigga at the re repass. He was that hungry. He probably should have, I mean, it's too late now, but paid his respects and went about his way. The repass, that's like trying to come, like, kind of like trying to go to the party, the after party. Thank you. Do better. I appreciate you. So, yeah. Allegedly, this allegedly is gonna turn real the next couple of days. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna snowball. Allegedly, Big Juke was responsible for the hit on Young Dolph by offering a bounty of forty thousand dollars. Allegedly, but this is on the streets of Memphis and shit. It don't matter what I said. It came out the mouth of. That comedian from Paper Route Entertainment. And if he feel like that, if that's his sentiments, the shit that he said out of his mouth, pretty sure the rest of his homie, the the rest of his little squad probably feel the same way as him because he the comedian. He didn't think they're supposed to act silly. And he act like he ready to ride. He said the feds come through with the Rico. Before I got disrupted on the first, when I came through the first time, I said that. I said, I just don't understand how this ain't federal, the way that it's playing out. I mean, it's similar to the YSL thing, but a lot more, it's a lot more violence involved. Dudes said it was 100000 but they only paid out forty. you Y'all think dude funeral gonna be in Memphis? I don't know. I don't know. Might not have a public funeral. It's crazy right now. Dolph Bounty was 300000 They was They was yelling, free straight drop. They want court in the streets. To some people, straight drop might be some type of hero and shit. Um... After he did it, he kind of like openly wrapped it. If he paid attention to the hat he was wearing, that um, I forget the name of that hat that he had on. He said a public funeral in Memphis is crazy. It's like Baghdad right now. When I was in Memphis around five years ago, I was told everything shifted towards Dolph. Grove Hero is his name. And he slapped one of Gotti's artists. Comedian slapping niggas. Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I knew y'all would pull me through. I knew y'all would pull me through. He said, Grove Hero is a rapper. Why they acting like he a comedian? I ain't never heard his music before. I ain't never heard Dolph, for real. Just a couple little... I wasn't a... Um, I wasn't a follower of Young Dolph's mu music career, all like that. I was in tune with 
who he was and what he was doing, but it wasn't. I got to genu genuinely like your music for me to pursue you if I pursued, you know, if it's an artist. Most people that you see on here, I probably would listen to their music or I do listen to their music. Guardy got in and started this shit. Word on the street, they're not going to stop until they get Gotti. Gotti be a damn fool to let them niggas get a hold of him. He will. After that, I mean, you can't stop karma. and Your fate is, nah, none of that. You can't duck none of that, but with with understanding of what the fuck just happened to his brother at a funeral, he got to know this is realer than real. Got to relocate. How God he ducked the Rico all these years. Come on, you know what's up, Gully. Look, right, when I found out that the Bovan family, that he was with them niggas, like, they kind of related to some shit. I don't know whether it's through marriage or his mom fucked with one of them. Or, I, I don't know. I can't remember. I don't know. I don't know. But when I said that, I said, oh, everything that he been rapping about all these years is true. It's true. I don't know how he's... I don't know how he's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He said, there's no way the feds and police wasn't around the ceremony and repass. I find that hard to believe that the police wasn't present. They probably watched this shit. That's got to be crim a criminal act if they let somebody get fucking killed and shit like that. He said he's a super informant. He said it's real. They almost got his mom too. The dude at the funeral was married to his aunt. That means he's down. That means he's down. And they notorious. They was like super ballers from Memphis in the 80s and shit. So everything that he's been saying all these years, cocaine crazy. He meant every word of it. He did. I always heard Gotti's mom was the gangster one. They were saying Yo Gotti was rapping his brother's life for real. Gotti's raps are real, but it's Big Jook he was rapping about, not him. I seen um, Big Jook's picture when he was like 13, 14. His mom got locked up for seven birds in 1993. Yeah, so it's everything that I perceived it to be a family business i just seen the bovan family um on popular channel it, it, it probably like a month ago three weeks a month ago i just seen it i just seen it they always want to sink their teeth in the big fish Jip uncle used to mess with Gotti aunt they were part of a huge bus from 87 they got his aunt but wanted go van and big jook used to Tuck it for them. He was married to his to Gotti's aunt. All of that don't matter when it comes to chess. If you in an issue with some niggas and they feel that you put forty thousand on a um on one of theirs, and everybody know about it, this gonna go on and on and on. Both sides. It's going to go on and on and on. It is. Gotti's family real, but he didn't start doing street shit until he got rap money. He connected in Pittsburgh. 50 Cent signed. You fucked that up. You need commas. What cities is up in here tonight? I know I got on a, light, a delay shift, but I had to make sure I got all these details together. If you go to um, Big Jook's Big Jook Instagram, Big Jook CMG, you will see his last post was "Stay alert to stay alive." <sighs> stay alert to stay alive. Watch it back at all times. Speaking deaf. Had it all in his mouth. 
Queens, Elizabeth City, Richmond, Pittsburgh, Detroit, Buffalo, Dade County, Kansas City, Columbia, South Carolina, Cleveland, Ohio, Wilmington, Delaware, D.C., what up? Oh, man. The Dallas Cowboys self-destructed as usual. Mm-hmm. Packers did it to him. That's my squad, too. Baltimore City. Be more. What up? Memphis. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all in the hot seat right now, man. All eyes on your city. Birmingham, Brooklyn. They spinning for Dolph. He was loved. Trenton, Flint, Michigan, Pittsburgh. They was true kingpins in the 80s. They, those pick of his aunt, Juk, and Govan are worth a million words. Pittsburgh born, Dallas living. <sighs> smoking, on the, smoking on the Cowboys pack this evening. Shout out to the Packers. Shout out to the pack. Anyway, he said, what you doing up? I had to gather all my details before I came in here before y'all with this. This is um some of this shit because it's still live action. And if somebody get fucking arrested, they're going to blame us. They're going to say, oh, is them niggas on YouTube? They're saying that he put 40000 on Young Dolph. That's what this is about. they saying that he put 40 Gs on Young Dolph. And they wanted their lick back. That's it. Louis Drake, you see me? South Central, what's up? He said it's a mess. Yeah, it's a mess. Uh, a lot of people have been killed in regards to this case. And um, some bloggers that, some bloggers from Memphis. I want somebody to find me the name of that platform. Some bloggers got erased covering this shit. Standing a little too close to the fire. He said all of that over 40,000. I said, damn, man. 40,000, it'll only get you like two chains. That's all you can get with 40,000. You can get like two good icy chains. That's it. For y'all thinking about killing a motherfucker and you gonna retire off 40 G's, you think uh, your life gonna be good off 40,000? You only gonna get a chain or two, man. Then it's gonna be gone. He said, it's mad theories out here. Whether or not he put 40,000 on anybody, that probably can't be proven. But the fact that Hernandez Bovan is one of the guys charged with the hit on uh, on, on Young Dolph and Big Juke was at a funeral of Eric Bovan, it kind of looked like they all together. Kind of looked like they all together. If he at the funeral of, his, of, of homeboy's people, it kind of looked like they all together. So you ain't going to be able to talk a motherfucker out of believing that he put money on his head. You can barely get a decent car with 40 stacks. 40K of strip, golf, strip club money. Them niggas went, went into action about that shit. Did a public killing in the daytime. Why was the Kingpin Govan who was being buried killed on New Year's? I have no idea. Hernandez Bovan is about to beat the case because all of the blame is about to be put on Jug. Ooh, we. He said caught his daughter in Vegas. That wasn't Vegas. That was um I forgot about that. That happened in Houston. I forget her name. She was a rapper. When that happened to her in Houston, they were saying it. I'm like, damn, they got reach all the way to Texas. <laughs> what the fuck? He said, it's like a violent soap opera. He said, the kingpin died from a stroke. A lot of cash deaths, though. That was her name. Yeah, that happened in, um, that was in Houston. 40,000 split five ways. 
I was looking at them niggas. I'm like, they don't look that hard pressed and shit. That they didn't. They didn't look like no thirsty ass niggas, but looks are deceiving. My re-enlistment bonus was bigger than 40 G's. Kids equal collateral damage. Reverend Run need to get his daughter away from dude. I'm pretty sure she ain't around him. Pretty sure she ain't around him. She was just in the hot seat. Um, matter of fact, they just like a month ago, they was acting like he was dissing her and shit. Right now? All of this shit going on right now? I bet you want to be up under her ass right now. I bet he's trying to be up under her ass right now. She was at the funeral too. There you go. He's up under her ass for sure. Damn. Damn. Got he going back to making cream of wheat if he's smart. I heard it was six figures and they was given 40000 as a down payment and owed the rest, but they didn't give up the rest. Sound like the situation that happened with Von Zip ran off the nigga money. Kings County said, Reverend Run, come get your daughter. Y'all like this video, man. It's over 500 people here, man. We on the late night shift. We discussing this murder of Big Jook. This wasn't even no topic that... I would have taken any interest in. It's just that once it was brought back to the table and the theory about him giving up 40,000, that, that's, that's a motive. And I know people are gonna be supercharged from shit like that. So I had to look into this shit further, but for him to say, Stay alert to stay alive. Watch your back at all times. It sounded like he knew what type of fucking hot water he was in. Nova, what up? She gonna do like little Wayne, daughter Regina with YNF Lucci and Dip. He said, these switches is destroying everything. Oh, they said it was some police nearby. They said it was police nearby when this shit happened, right? I seen this on another platform. A witness, a witness, a female. She was just talking and shit. I'm like, damn, baby, you ain't scared. <laughs> she was just talking like a motherfucker, man, just running it. Um, She said that the police was around when that shit, when them, when them shots started to... When them, when that uh when that switch start getting sprayed, she said she looked at the police and shit. And they was like, man, we ain't fucking around. Not to that shit over with. Yeah. We ain't going around there fucking with that. Ha -ha -ha. They know what that shit is. No. We gonna wait until it's over with, then we'll go do our investigation. Look how sloppy they killed Dolph. The car was found a week later. He said, Jook's last post was kind of like Nipsey's. I felt that it was cryptic. It sounded like somebody about to meet their maker. Stay alert to stay alive. Stay alert to stay alive. What that sound like to you? That sound like somebody already got their mind and somebody trying to creep up on them. He said the police are active, but not proactive. He says so pretty much the police let the sus suspects pl flee. If it's in Memphis, right? Is it safe to say that some of these police officers might have been black? Do y'all think that that's probably who was working that area and shit? Probably some black police officers, right? They already know who beef it is. They already know that the family. Black police officers, right? 
The niggas not trying to get murdered, man. They not. This shit been going on for a few years and shit. He said, I guess he didn't stay alert then. He said, they minding their business. Yeah, them niggas trying to do their little eight-hour shift and go home without being shot. Memphis reputation is what Atlanta tries to claim to be. You got to put some translation to that. Police rarely, if ever, stop crimes. They always show up after the fact. You got to look out for yourself. Damn. Y'all like the video. It's almost 600 people here. Y'all lazy as fuck. Good evening to y'all. Shout out to the uh, Dallas Cowboys, man. They self-destructed again. I love when the Cowboys, I love when they whole shit just cave in. I ain't never liked them niggas. If you live in the street life, you should always stay alert. You should always stay alert. Everybody is responsible for protecting their own body. But you know when you're doing wrong. You know when you're involved with that lifestyle. I, um... I was around a raid recently. Somebody got raided. Not too far from where I was located and shit. And I could hear it. Right? I was so glad they wasn't coming for me. Because I remember a time when... It was my day. You know what I'm saying? It was my day. For real. He said, it's crazy as fuck to think a police officer gonna know when and where it's happened. Memphis and the Bronx. Shout out to both places. Left him slumped with his arm bent in the wet direction. On the curb. Nah, man, I ain't see it. Somebody tried to sell me pictures of that. I ain't want to put that shit in my mind. The fact that they killed him in an area where there's multiple cameras from every angle was more than likely they will get caught. They got great pictures of the SUV. It's like a Ford truck. It's white, black tent, black rims. That was blacked up, though. You couldn't see, you couldn't see inside the motherfucker. Only music I ever liked out of Memphis was A-Ball and MJG. Nah, Memphis got music, yo. Don't do that. He said there was no plates on it. They still can, they still can trail that joint from um, surveillance, ring lights, security surveillance and shit like that. The same way that they did them niggas in Chicago when they killed FBG Duck. Every light that them niggas ran, pictures was being taken of them as they were riding down the street. It's getting like the islands. He said no place. They knew what they was doing. He was a sitting duck in that car. He wasn't in the car. He wasn't in the car. Witnesses said he was trying to make it to the car. They said his mom was in the car when he was hit. Only a fool will do a hit in their own vehicle. Cops can still find them with no place. They got a sophisticated, sophisticated surveillance system in place. I believe, I believe that they're gonna find that vehicle. Even if it's burnt when they get to it, they're gonna find that motherfucker. Why is Memphis so out of control? This issue right here, not to mention any other shit that's going on in the street, but this has been live action. We just we didn't know how big this shit was. The rest of the world didn't know how big it was. You would think that once they arrested them niggas, that it probably would start to, start to you know, subside and shit. It never subsided. We learning that right now. I was um, I did research for an hour before I got on here. A lot of people have died, man. A lot of pe people in the comments saying that they sliding for Dolph. They've been sliding. It's been... Shit been... Furniture been moving. Trust me. He said, Paper Route is talking from the, the shadow realm. He said, 50 Cent back in his street days would have been vested at a funeral. 
revenge is a dish best served cold. Memphis and, and, and ATL have been on fire lately. Plenty of people have died about this situation. Dolph was a made man. He took care of a lot of people in Memphis. He said they should ride for him. There has been blood wasted on both sides. Mm. Well, it's another funeral that's going to be held shortly. I don't know whether it's going to be public. If it is, I'm pretty sure it's going to be crawling with police and shit like that. I don't think nothing's going to happen at his funeral. It's a whole fire. Everything must go. I don't think, um, I, I don't see, I don't see, I don't see this ending. This probably going to be one of them things that go on for like decades and shit like that. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. It just seemed like one of them things that's just going to go on and on and on. Probably going to turn into a gang rivalry and shit where they... I am from Tennessee. I booked Dolph and Gotti early in their career in Knoxville, Nashville, Chat, and Zone 6. Dolph could have pushed buttons after the Charlotte BS, but he kept the music. Hmm. He said, yo, Gotti better not go to that funeral. It's his brother. What's the chances of him not going? Paper Route and CMG are the new Hatfield McCoys. I believe that. He said he's not letting it slide. I don't see him waving a white flag behind this one. Probably not. Not when your blood brother involved. You probably gonna want to get back. That's why I said this. 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 This gonna. This gonna continue. Like they stated, Dolph took cars, a lot of people. He was bigger than Gotti in his own city. So, question is, does some words justify putting out a hit? Some people said it's about a girl. Yo, young Dolph said it was because he declined a record deal from him. At this point, it's about um, revenge and retaliation, so it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep going. They smoke youngster brother in Miami after that Charlotte attempt. And the FBI will be watching Gotti very closely. He rapped about it. He rapped about a reality that he wanted for himself. He rapped about it. Gotti was one of the um, rappers to rap about federal paranoia and shit like that. He rapped about this shit. He did. He said, this shit deeper than rap. Hatfield, McCoy's, that shit was serious. Pride can be a deadly thing. It's beyond pride, man. When a nigga lose their biological family, a street nigga, something probably gonna happen. He said, they killed both youngster brothers. Mm. Dolph said he hit Gotti's wife. I grew up with Gotti and I fuck with Dolph. Gotti wasn't in and is and is not in Memphis like Dolph was. Juke took the business because he was visible. He said, you take my brother, I need my get back. I ain't gonna lie. His mom was a big time dealer. If his mom from the streets and she lost a son, you know what she's saying to the other son. You know what you got to do. Yeah. You know what you got to do. Juke was talking all that jazz in that video inside that truck. Youngster lost both his brothers. I ain't listening to none of that shit. I didn't listen to um, Young Dolph all like that. I heard some music from Black, 
black youngster that I liked it. I was shocked that I liked it because he used to be doing all that silly shit, acting all retarded and ignorant. And um, Gotti I listened to. I wasn't a Yo Gotti fan, but whenever he came out with something, I could listen to it. I liked the joint he had with Jada. I liked the shoot off. He got some joints. Yeah. He said, watch hold, keep his distance. Oh. <laughs> they do hang. They did hang out together. That's right. Was, um, did Gotti have some type of association with Rock Nation? Wasn't he at the brunches and shit like that? Like, he fuck with Ho, right? Right? He said Gotti was at them parties. Right. That shit over with. That shit over with. He said Jay gave him a chain. That shit over with. You gonna see Hove distance himself, man, so elegantly. <laughs> you gonna see Hove get away from him so skillfully. He said he's no longer invited. Yeah, niggas like that, they don't be allowed to go to the meetings and shit, the brunches and shit. Oh, no. Nah. He said, God, he accidentally donated 500 Gs at that brunch and was salty. I remember that. CMG is under Rock Nation. He had a deal with Hov, rock with him after the Dolph got hit, Jay stepped back away from him. Oh, man. Rock Nation does brand management for Young Gotti and for Yo Gotti and CMG. He said, Hov changed the number already. Y'all like the video, man. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter at Gully TV1. I was speaking to a, um, a fellow content creator this morning and shit, and I was telling him, I'm like, my nigga, if you're looking for a racehorse, this probably going to be the big thing for, like, the next next three or four days and shit. Yeah. But the theory that he put a $40,000 bounty on Dolph, that's what everybody's saying that this murder is for. Payback. Got to be at all whole big affairs. Peace to you too. God, he hated on Dolph because Hove was trying to sign Dolph. I don't know about that. He said, shit, the war been on for years. Hove signed him during the war. That could be true. I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. It's 700 of y'all here. We still ain't got we still ain't got 200 likes. It's 700 y'all here. 500 of you niggas, lazy, ultra lazy. This is crazy. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at IamGullyTV underscore or Dribble Almighty. I got two um two IG pages. He said, disrespectful. Motherfuckers been getting down at funerals lately, man. People don't have no, no more decency. Long as uh, there's murder involved, the decency is out the window and shit. So, seems like Dolph wasn't trying to be signing straight independent. He said, Mongo Slade. Right, right. He said, I can't like it twice. You can try, motherfucker. Only 40 Gs. It's goofy to keep talking shit when you're getting shot at. They love Dolph, bro. Dolph had a 50-50 joint venture deal with Empire. They killed Juke. Juke, so ain't nobody safe at this point. He was a big fish in the streets of Memphis. 
It's just a regular practice for the labels to sign the opposition of whoever is popping. Are you serious? That kind of sound like it got some truth to it, but I need some I need some support. And I need some information to support that. Help me through this. He said it's Dolph Dick Riders in here. He said that the security dropped the ball. They probably wasn't expecting no retaliation like that. When you in that life, you can't put your feet up. You seen his, his cryptic Instagram post. Stay alert to stay alive. Watch your back at all times. He said no limit got cash money signed. He said, them young niggas don't care who you are or your old head street rep. They will jump for five G's. Facts. Dolph used to serve Jook. Dolph front and Jook worked like 15, 20 years ago. How y'all know that to be the truth? Kayla Lorraine, thank you. I knew when Dolph turned down that deal, he was different. He probably was straight. Independent money is pretty good, man. Well, normally when they offer you a deal, they're trying to get in your pocket. The said record label or the person who's offering the contract, they call it a partnership, but they're trying to get in your pocket. They is. Labels make money on both sides. He said, Dolph said it. Gotti and them family, the hustlers, we know that. We do. He said it and it was raps. He said it in the song, Play With Your Bitch. Well, if his pussy involved... You know how niggas be. D Juke was in jail when Dolph hopped off the porch. They look like they got a, a difference in age and shit. Dolph, uh, Dolph looked like he younger than them niggas. Dolph said in an interview that when Gotti wasn't fucking with Juke, Dolph fronted him some work to stay on his feet. Mm. He says, so can Gotti bounce back after this? He can't get a new brother. Juke is in his 60s. Dolph is like 36. I said that they 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 look like they they had a big difference in age. Dolph team was turning down publishing deals for millions for artists on his label. We gonna know the truth, man. The next uh, 24 hours, expect, I give it 24 to 48 hours. They gonna find that truck. They got a great picture of that truck, yo. They gonna find that truck. They gonna find that truck, I'm telling you. I heard Dolph team, my fault. Dolph said he never sold cane. It was grass. The streets will make you cold. I just had to get on here for a minute, man. Um, I was on a prior live stream before I got disconnected. So y'all can, y'all who just got here, y'all can go back to that one and then play this joint too. But from what we know right now, this is payback. I'm about to get up out of here. Make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at I am Gully TV underscore. He said it looked like a police truck. It looked exactly like a fucking police truck. Make sure y'all follow me at I am Gully TV underscore on Instagram and on Twitter at I am I said I am 
On Twitter at Gully TV One, man. Make sure y'all go to the website and get knitted. The world famous PA knitted just there. Slide through, man. Go get you something. TheRealDribble.com. All right? I'm up out of here, man. Y'all have a great evening. Peace.